on this video I'm going to share uh, what I think uh, you should do after you capture a hunt uh, from videoing yourself uh, what you can do to make it easier for the editor producer and yourself to organize your files so uh, I'll take you through step by step and we'll go from there okay let's get started I put the SD card in my computer and we'll turn it on here uh, main files here they are you can see they all have a number associated with them uh, I did uh, name a few of these um, just for this uh, exercise but um, anyways you can see there's a number 120 on this one 121 122 these numbers represent how um, the time you shot these this was the first clip on the card and then your highest number is going to be the last uh, clip that was shot so this is a five day um, hunt so we're going to go through and label all of these we're going to look at them and label them now you think it's going to take you a lot of time but it's not you were on this hunt you'll know after you watch a couple of them you'll know exactly what um, you want to label and even if you come up if there's some short ones or they're out of focus or they just look terrible delete them or put them in another folder there's no sense sending them to me um, but anyways to label these all you do is right click go down to name leave the 121 on there whatever the number is right or left click excuse me behind that last digit space bar over one and then put whatever you want to call this um, let's say this is b-roll um, more turkey and plot okay so once you get them all labeled like that I want you to right click anywhere and have a new folder come up mark that whatever your um, however I can find you you can put your name on it your show name whatever you want it to be I'm gonna mark this one Brad Jones boom okay then I'm gonna make up a another folder and I'm gonna call this one uh, white tail hunt Brad Okay, then I'm going to make up more folders, one for each day of this whitetail, of Brad's whitetail hunt. So this one will be day one, then day two, day three, day four. Okay, I'm not going to make up all those, but uh, you need to. So let's say day one started on 120 and went to 125 we're just using this for an example so left click on 120 hold the shift down and go to your last day of that hunt 125 let off the shift key and you can see they're all highlighted go to any one of those highlighted clips right click cut go down to that day one file right click paste and there's your files okay so those are in day one you're gonna to want to go through each day do the same thing and when you're done with each day just drag it into this file here well, I can see I, I misspelled that and so we'll fix that one right now okay there we go so then once you get all of these files and days and put into your whitetail hunt then you can drag this folder into Brad's main um, folder and you're done okay so what you're going to do next after you um, get everything into your main file here you're going to put that on 
either if you have a large drive on your computer, you know, two terabyte where you store all your stuff, or purchase an external hard drive. And I would suggest if you only have one drive and you don't want to fill it up in your computer, I would get two of these external hard drives. You can get a two terabyte one for about sixty dollars, so they're they're relatively inexpensive. And then uh, put a copy on each one of those external drives. Um, and then you can send me the external drive, one of them, then I'll have a set and you'll have a set. Um, I can do all my editing right off of that and then I can put return copy to you, uh, the master file copy of the project uh, onto that and send it back to you and, and that way you'll um, have a copy of everything. So that's basically it for this tip. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to us, uh, and we'll be more than happy to answer them. Uh, otherwise, I'm uh, looking forward to getting some video footage from you, and looking forward to help tell your story and edit you a nice video.